What's up, Bama Insider Nation? Breaking news out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Shane Lee has entered the NCAA transfer portal. Lee, of course, a junior at the university now, a linebacker for the Crimson Tide. Listed at six foot, 240 pounds, originally from Burtonsville, Maryland. Lee has now decided it is time to enter the transfer portal and explore his other options. Lee's been in Tuscaloosa since 2019. He moved into the starting middle linebacker role for Alabama following that midseason injury to Dylan Moses. He was selected as an ESPN.com freshman All-American and named to the freshman All-SEC team by the league coaches. He led SEC freshmen in tackles with 86 in 2019 and ranked third among SEC freshman defenders in tackles for loss with six and a half. Shanley got off to a hot start with his career, but in 2020, he had a rotational role at middle linebacker. Before the season, he was selected on the Buckus Award watch list. He saw time, though, in just five games. And in 2021, now a veteran on the team, he really saw limited time as he tried to work back from injury in fall camp. He totaled just six tackles, a half sack, and a quarterback hurry in his 10 games of action. But a pretty disappointing season for Shane Lee in 2021, especially after the hot start he had in 2019. So we look back a little bit into Shane Lee's high school recruiting history. He was the number 50 player in the class of 2019 on Rivals.com, the number two linebacker and the number one player in the state of Maryland. He was a four-star, originally recruited by Mike Loxley, who is now at the University of Maryland. Shane Lee will go explore his options and figure out which is best for the rest of his career. For Alabama, this is now the eighth transfer over the last three days as we go over the list here one more time for you. Now in the portal, Paul Tyson, the quarterback, of course. Tight end, Jaleel Billingsley. Drew Sanders, the outside linebacker. Tackle, Tommy Brown. Linebacker, King Wakuda. Along with wide receiver, Xavier Williams, Pierce Quick, and Marcus Banks as well, all earlier in the transfer portal. Along with linebacker, Jackson Bratton. Some walk-ons have entered the transfer portal as well as Alabama sees an unusual amount of guys enter the portal this season. Nick Saban, of course, will bounce back, and like I mentioned in an earlier video, has already worked the transfer portal himself, getting Jameer Gibbs, the running back from Georgia Tech, and Elias Ricks from LSU, who looks to be a defensive force for the Crimson Tide in 2022. For more information on this story and all things Alabama football, go to BamaInsider.com. And don't forget to hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a super thanks for a special tip for the Bama Insider staff, and leave a comment so we can know what you're thinking on all of this breaking news surrounding the transfer portal and Alabama football. For BamaInsider.com, my name is Trey Yannity. Shane Lee, the junior linebacker out of Burtonsville, Maryland, has entered the NCAA transfer portal.